안녕하세요 여러분. 제러먼 벤타키입니다. 그리고 제 동생 Sam Takimida. Hey guys, I'm Ben Tucker. This is my brother Sam from Sam Time News. And today we're trying uh, Korean snacks. So I actually asked some native Koreans uh, what snacks I should be trying. They gave me a list of 30 plus. I managed to limit that down to these five that we have here, plus a bonus. The bonus will be held in place with StarCraft. It is the most Korean thing I have in my apartment. Round one, honey butter chip. We're starting easy. We have a bowl here. Oh, okay. Sam getting an early Did sniff. Give a sniff. How about that? Ah, yeah. Not as good a sniff as I would have hoped, but uh, it's not quite a tasty sniff, is it? I'll, no. I'll get a hint of honey eventually. First of all, texture. It's quite weak, actually. A weak smell. Good crisp. Good crisp musty. break to it. I'm gonna take a nice big one from the front here, Sam. Oh, okay. It's mm. got some green flavouring on there. I don't think honey ever has little green. Season bits. I would have said off honey, but honey doesn't go off. It tastes like something we've had, I think. Like as a kid, maybe. Like a butterscotch, maybe? Something along those sort of lines? We'll see what the cameraman thinks. It's like, it's like butterscotch. Butterscotch chips. Maybe it's That's butter what I said, yeah, yeah. It's like a Werther's original chip. <laughs> it's a Werther's original chip. There we go. Oh, well, they're good. They're, good, uh, they're good. I'm happy they're with that. Uh, for now, we are going to leave them in the top place. Sam, please return the bag to its rightful place. Honey butter chips. Thumbs up. Delicious. Round two, shrimp flavored cracker, seo kong. Hello, we got the shrimp twisties. Shrimp twisties. Prawn twisties, prawn thank twisties. you. Very Australian put prawn twisties. Put a prawn on the barbie and put it in a shrimp bag. Shrimp crackers, maybe not so, uh, maybe not so Australian then. Oh, not as pale as I thought. Okay. They got a bit of color to them. Oh, again, the smell. That is I want to smell the bag. Let's go. That is definitely seafood. Very fresh seafood too. I'm not too. a fan of seafood. <laughs> they like just chucked. Is there a little fish they just chucked in there? <laughs> it's yeah. like a, a flavor keeper. Yeah, they're going to be crispy. It, these it ones. It seems like what you get when you get Chinese food, like those um, <laughs> what do you call prawn them? Prawn crackers again. Prawn crackers. Yeah, it's a prawn cracker in a t twisty form. Slightly crispier than a regular um, prawn cracker would get at our Chinese restaurants. Slightly prawnier. I wouldn't eat them all the time, but they're not. They're very much edible. Very edible. I could eat a few of these. Not quite as Moorish as um. The, the prawn crackers either because they've got that um what's that uh, the last taste after you got taste? sour sweet oh. umami more umami nobody knows what these ones are less umami than prawn crackers i wish i knew what umami meant around three jolly pong now the mystery bag it's time for jolly pong <laughs> mystery bag we can see exactly what they look like jolly pong but i have no idea what this is going to be this is going to taste like i'm, I'm three, guessing three, three. let's get the bowl up neutral grain Nutri grain in a bag. I'm gonna guess they're gonna be like pretzels. Closer to pretzels than anything else. Hmm. Oh, they are tiny. It's like cereal. Yeah, Nutri grain so far so good. Smells like cereal. Maybe it is cereal. Is that what it says on the bag? A bag of cereal. Well, the only Korean I can read on the bag is Jolly Pong. <laughs> <laughs> and it's written there in English. Very collapsible, not much crunch. Feels. It's cereal, it has to it's be. It's cereal. cereal. It has... You have to have this with milk, surely. It's oats. You could salty. have this with milk, I think. A little salty. Special K collapses easy. Bit of popcorn. It is. Bit of popcorn too. But yeah. It's like good. a sweeter Special K. Yeah. Special yeah. K with sugar. And you got Jolly Pong. I'm Jolly gonna have Pong. this as cereal. I reckon. I'm gonna try it as cereal and yeah. see how it works. I reckon it could work really well. A hint well. of popcorn in there too. I reckon. Just it's really weird how it's in the um, plastic bag. It's the same as chips. It should oh. be in a box. Waterproof bag. That's it. You're on the go. You get yourself some Jolly Pong. Jolly Pong and a drink of milk. Hello. There's your breakfast. Breakfast in a bag. Round four. Seafood flavor taco chips. Chakalchi. I'm generally not a fish related person. It's it's in the shape of a fish, but then it's got an octopus on it. I don't know. If it what comes going up for. fishier than the last one, we <laughs> might have a problem. No immediate recoil. It's a good sign. Definitely has a stronger scent. Yeah. <laughs> Almost choked on that. These okay. ones again look a lot more like uh, sort of prawn cracker style. Very airy. Little fish. Very light. A little lighter than I thought that would be. Swimming fish. Here comes the taste. Maybe you're supposed to have these with dip because they got a um, clear oh. handle and it, like they're like a spoon. Oh yes, it is for dip, I think, because you can imagine some sweet chives and onion and cream in there. Maybe yeah, definitely not as tomato. fishy as I mm. expected here. That's good. That's this savory. One, I think you nailed it, Sam. This is savory. Yeah. This would go perfect with uh, what was that chive dip? Spring, yeah, spring onion and chives. Put a little bit of that on the plate with the chive in the middle, ma'am. By itself, it's a little bit dry. There is, it, is a, it, is, it does have flavour though. It does have it. I it's just hard to umami? <laughs> describe it. Probably, probably umami. Give it some umami. Round five. Kimchi. 
kimchi. Chuseyo. Time for kimchi, ladies and gentlemen. Fermented cabbage. All right, Sam. We're going to take a piece of cabbage, I think. <laughs> I think that's cabbage, and we're going to try it. This is the first time we've eaten kimchi. Kimchi is eaten, like, nearly every day by Koreans. It's a favourite. Not all of them, but most of them will eat this, like, every day. It comes Rick. with every single meal at restaurants. Uh -huh. It is the most common thing in the world to them. Well, to us, it can't be too bad. It can't be too bad. This is oh, you've gone some green as well. I'm gonna try to go some um, green. Spicy, spicy, spicy. Then the dips. Oh, hotter than me on a Friday night. Hello. How? Not hard to beat that. Definitely tastes a little fermented. There's a lot of flavour in this. It is packed with flavour. You can say, for like cabbage, mm. for a cabbage-based meal, you wouldn't That's expect true. much flavour. It is spicier than. Most things I'd have. It's really spicy. No, it's much spicy. spicier than I, th I, th I thought it would be. It's not too bad. Spicy, full of flavour. Bit different. Fermented cabbage, but... Around six. Mm. Alright, Sam. Time has come for the challenge food. The surprise one. It's not alive, is it? It is currently in this here. Black now, bag. you promised me Korean people do eat this. This isn't a trick. I promise you, this is an actual snack. That people eat. They and enjoy people it. Willingly. like it. Willingly. Absolutely. People love this stuff. Great heart. Sam is going to reach into the bag. Close, his no, eye, close your no, eyes. No, 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 no. It's no. in packaging. Like, it's in a oh, tin. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> that was gooey. Sam, please reveal the uh, challenge food. Oh, no. Eat a poo. Silkworm pooper. Pauper. <laughs> we have, um... What is it? Bondeki. Silkworm pupa. Street food. Popular street food, like hot dogs. So I've never seen good street food on this. It's <laughs> crickets and... Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, God. Nah. Get out of town. That's fun, having a little swim. Oh, no. no. What happened? It's bigger than I thought. Okay. So ah. they're, yeah, they're like peanuts. No, they're like cockroaches. They're peanuts. They don't even have legs no. or anything. They're just pupa. No, 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 no. They're just pupa. No, Look no, at this. No, no, no. Oh, they're all tumbling no. over each other in the sauce. Just not. I can't. I can't smell it because I'm, all I'm smelling is kimchi. But oh man, alive! I don't know if they're salted or oiled or pickled. <laughs> so we have it here. Cheers, Cheers mate. <laughs> oh, <not bad. laughs> I hate the texture just because I know what it is. I'm glad the sauce is there. It's kind of a weak flavor. I'm glad it the is sauce a weak is there. flavor. I think that's all sauce. I don't think pupa has a flavour, it just has a disgusting texture that they said, we can't just have sauce, chuck some bluck in it. Don't let them hatch. No. It's not soy, is it, or anything like that. It does have a particular flavour, and I wish I could pick it to describe it, but it's very Take mild. It's very one. mild, not too crunchy not or anything. not crunchy or anything, though, no. It's dry, it's, yeah. Cameraman, camera John, want a little, a little poop? Do, do you want to help, me, you wanna help me just describe oh, the maggots, John? It's bondecky, it's lovely bondecky. It's like... Does it little... remind me of meat? Headless, legless cockroaches. There's so many. They give you so many. It's like, that one more than one. I've Probably. had this. I've had something similar to this before. The taste is very familiar. Well, I'm going to find have, out what it is. Just give me some sauce. Give me some of that sauce. Mm. The texture is sort of, yeah, not pleasant. It's worse without the pupa. It sticks to your teeth a bit. <laughs> well, it's because the pupa probably doesn't have much taste and it just soaks up the flavour from the, Let from me the sauce. Let me was that very cheap? Have just a big scoop. I'm not going to have more than one at a time. Like that, I cannot do that. I'll have another one, but I can't do more than one at a time. I, I'm, I'm proud that I had one. Wow. I'm starting to get... I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm not seriously starting to gag why, on them now. Why do I keep going back? <laughs> I think three... Uh, <laughs> You're gone. You're gone. I think three might be my limit. The hatching. They're becoming fully grown. I think that was a big one. They're becoming fully grown. What are they? <laughs> Silkworms. <laughs> We've got worms now, people. It's dry. It's mushy. Sticks to your teeth. People give us a hard time for Vegemite. Come on. It's like Come a on. soy sauce and meaty sort of flavour. It's a weird sort of savoury thing like that. Um, Safe to say last. Safe to say... See you later. Final thoughts. Give me something. Thank you for thank you for trying that with me, Sam. Yeah, I very much appreciate it. Come back, butterscotch. So let, let, let's take a quick look uh -huh. at where we finished up today. Uh -huh. Pretty much exactly where we set them. 
Pretty much, except we. I think we ranked that second. Yeah, these were the flipped. Yep. So we got honey, honey butter chip, number one. Second were the taco fish flavoured chips, Delicious. which need dip. Bit of dip, they would have been number one. Absolutely. Third one is Jolly Pong. Bit of cereal. It's a cereal. Number probably two. best with milk. Um, prawn twisties, the shrimp crackers. Get out. These were alright. Get out. Not my taste, but they're fine. Kimchi, so much flavour, so much heat, so much fermentation. <laughs> Needs to be diluted with like rice or something. Taste the ferment. And probably need to, you know, get used to that a little bit. And then no. Bondeki. No. <laughs> I managed three of them. I'm it impressed. Is, it is a weird <laughs> flavour. Unappealing texture. Just... And uh, I won't be purchasing that one again. Back to the drawing board, Korea, with that one. I'm sorry, but no. Thank you very much, Sam. Check out Sam on his channel, Sam Time News. Yeah, he just... doesn't he doesn't eat disgusting things on his channel. Check it out, Sam Time. I'm Ben, also known as Bemused Rat, and I'll see you next time, guys. Bye. Funker time. Uh -huh.